All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about the flipper and the developer market. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about the flipper and the developer markets, right? So the flipper markets are gonna be the markets where people are gonna be able to get healthy spreads. So in the beginning, I know that there's people that are looking to buy houses that are 40 to 50,000 and put 10 or 15 or 20 in these houses and you know try to sell these houses for 80 and 100, maybe even a little more, maybe 120, 130 for these low price houses. And that's a great place to start because you're reducing your risk. But when you reduce your risk, you're also typically reducing your profit potential. So often what happens is the people that are going in and they're trying to fix houses up with neighborhoods that have property values at, you know, 50, 60, 70 grand is they're breaking even or they're making a little bit of money. Maybe they can make five or 10,000, but that may also require four or five months worth of work, right? However, in areas with higher appreciation and higher values, it's going to be quite a bit easier to make more money. Because at the end of the day, we're all typically shooting to make between 10 and 20 percent on a fix and flip maybe more of course but that's a pretty healthy standard to choose from so again if I could find a property in an area that has values of two hundred fifty thousand dollars and I can increase the value of that property with the rehab fix and flip by 10 percent that's twenty five thousand dollar right if I can do ten percent in a five hundred thousand dollar neighborhood that's fifty thousand dollars ten percent on a sixty thousand or eighty thousand dollar house is only six or eight thousand dollars that's not bad but guys fix and flipping is risky it requires risk which means you can lose money if you don't do it right and additionally it takes a lot of time so whenever you are understanding the flipper markets or even the developer markets you're typically going to find values in the medium to high end range of course there's people doing it in the low end range but they don't typically do it for long because they realize that they need to go to higher end or they lose money and they stop altogether so whenever you are dealing with the flipper markets and the developer markets understand that these are most likely going to be nicer than the normal areas most of the time. Now, it doesn't really matter what city you're in. You're always going to have medium area properties and high area properties. But most of the time, the flippers are going to be avoiding the lower end areas just because it doesn't really make sense for them. So just understand that very, very basic. Don't overthink it. Now, again, there's always going to be the exception to the rule. A low end market in certain cities like Los Angeles could still be four hundred thousand dollars, right? But that's not necessarily true in every market in the country. So of course there's gonna be differences, but for the most part, they're gonna be in the areas where the properties are gonna be medium to high end most of the time for the flipper and the developer markets. Very simple guys, don't overthink it. You don't need your house, we may get it tomorrow. Gladly take it, just get the phone, make a call to me. Dilapidated or tenny won't pay.